We'd like to welcome everyone who's watching to our first episode of the Razorback Rundown Coaches Show here on the Razorback Rewind YouTube channel. I'm here with Coach Ford. He is the head coach of the Panama Razorbacks. This is his third season as the coach of the Panama Razorbacks. And I know that we're excited for the season. And um, I was going to ask Coach a few questions. But Coach, how's it going? How's everything going today? Going really well. Really well. Really happy to be here. Really happy to be putting on a, a nice show for the folks at home and uh, really bring a nice spotlight to our team. Well, good, good. I know uh, week zero began last week for most schools um, in Oklahoma. But Panama opens up tomorrow, week one, against Spyro. I know our team has an opportunity to get two scrimmages in, and I know the weather has been kind of crazy with over a 100-degree temperature. But um, I just want to kind of get your input and tell us a little bit of what you gained from the two scrimmages that we uh, scrimmaged these past two weeks. Well, you hit the nail on the head talking about the weather. You know, that's something you really can't control. Uh, little adversity uh, it, it put our backs up against the wall about that we kind of took advantage of uh, maybe some morning uh, cooler temperatures and practiced in the morning last week I think we got a lot out of practice uh, doing that where maybe it wasn't so hot and, and getting down scrimmages you know we scrimmaged Muldrow the first scrimmage of the season uh, they gave us a really good test exposed us in some places we needed to be exposed in I thought we played really well I was really pleased with our effort uh, I think we we rounded it out really well and got into the next week. During week two, we took on a you know much bigger school than us with an enrollment of over 700, and played a 4A school uh, still well. I thought we did really well again. I mean, we had some some hiccups. We got a little tired getting into it. Uh, heat kind of played a, a little bit of a role. I think it was probably 96 or better at kickoff, but guys battled. Guys really stepped up. I thought we saw some really good stuff in some positions. Some guys took ownership of a couple of positions and it was really good couple of scrimmages for us good. this year um, you've you've kind of been blessed with a good number of coaches on the sideline with you I, I can't remember the six six I think coaches and I know there's some new faces um, on the sidelines this year that are going to be helping you make some play calls um, offensively and defensively and um, I just kind of want to get a little bit of your of your expectations of your coaches and maybe mention some coaches that, that we have and and Talk a little bit about them, if you don't mind. Awesome. Yeah, you know, I live by the motto, and I think most of us do, that many hands make light work. Uh, lots of eyes looking at your team really, uh, I think, allows you to hone your craft, knock the rough edges off. And, and we have been fortunate and blessed and added some coaches. We still retain uh, the defensive guru himself, Randy Darnell, who's going to be helping us out, uh, probably even more so on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, this year. He's many years uh, coaching here for the Razorbacks and he's kind of a, a staple for the hometown. Always proud to have him. Really appreciate him. Uh, we've got uh, Coach Armstrong, also known as Coach Magoo, coming back this year for his second year with the Razorbacks. And he's going to take over as the defensive coordinator this year. He's really excited about that. He's uh, bringing a lot of new stuff and, and a little shot in the arm. I think our kids are responding well to it. We're really happy to have him. We've added uh, Ben Whitaker, who teaches at the middle school. And uh, Ben's going to do a good job for us. He's a really talented guy when it comes to organization, when it comes to getting the job done. He's a really energetic, good Panama graduate. He was a great player here and uh, does a good job for us. Really excited to have him. Good addition for us. Uh, we've also added yourself, Coach Payne here. Uh, Stole him from a town not too far from us. Really brings a lot of uh, experience, not only in football, but with what he does with the videography stuff. And he's a really good guy to be around our kids. I think that being able to put our team and our kids in a, in a good light is an awesome asset to have and what an accomplishment that could be for us. Uh, we also added Coach Ford 2.0, uh, we call him. Uh, his dad is, is a great guy, by the way. Yeah, yeah. But uh, his young man uh, played for me all through school, does a good job. He was a uh, really gifted offensive lineman, played hard, knows the system, and uh, teaches some math and history here, and comes and helps us with junior high and high school. All in all, great coaching staff. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for the opportunity it provides our kids. Really proud of the staff and looking forward to a great season with them. We mentioned earlier that the Razorbacks are going to have their season opener 
tomorrow, Thursday, August thirty first, August thirty first against um, against a, a a pretty decent Spyro team, um, and I know we get the Razorbacks will be traveling there for a little four county battle there um, tomorrow. What can you tell me about the game? I know the community is excited. I know the team's excited. I know we're all kind of excited that um, Friday nights are back and we get to open up a, a day early on a Thursday. What can you tell me a little bit about Spyro watching film and what can we expect as we open up uh, week one tomorrow? Well, you know, it's always a, a good game for us, a good uh, a kind of rivalry game. You know, we're really close. Uh, I think there's, you know, not very many miles that separates the two. Matter of fact, you get to pull out a map to figure out where one ends and, and the other begins kind of. They're a really well-coached team. I've got a lot of respect for their coaching staff over there. Their players play hard for them. They, what they do, they do really well. And I think we're going to have to do a good job of, of playing disciplined, playing fast, playing physical, and just trying to get after them. You know, last year I thought we were, we were close, um, had, a, had a kind of momentum shift with Mother Nature that kind of, I don't know, shook us a little bit. But, you know, we're ready to get after them this year and uh, ready to give them that run. I think that I think we're primed. Like I said, they're well coached. They play hard. Got a lot of good kids coming back. And uh, it's always a game, you know, always a game to look forward to. I know uh, as as we start this 2023 campaign, um, what what can you we expect from this year, Coach? Just um, just what you've seen from the spring football moving into the summer and kind of getting into the fall. Um, what can we expect? Some players to watch, um, some big games that maybe as fans want to highlight, and um, any team news that you may have that you can update us on as we uh, as we get ready for kickoff. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this season is a we look at it as a continuation as a culmination of maybe the two seasons prior that i've been here when i first took this job we had a a lot of inexperience amongst the team uh, now we're rolling into a season where you have some kids who have played uh, started you know 20 games uh, a lot of battle-hardened veterans you know where they once were just uh, still wet behind the ear pups but they they've really grown I think what we're going to be able to do, what we're hoping to be able to do is, is a complete game. I think we've spent time, you know, trying to be really good at running the ball. We've spent time uh, trying to air it out. And what I'm hoping we're going to see this season is a combination of all of that and just a complete football team in all facets of the game. That's what we're after. That's why we've added the coaches. The kids are bought into it. We work on that every day in practice. We want to be a complete team. Uh, as the season progresses, I th always some big games we're going to circle as any game that's a district game. We've got this game coming up. Always want to circle the Pecola game. We talk about that every year. It's a big game for us. A uh, game we didn't get to play last year that we're looking forward to this year is Tallahanna. Um, you know, always circling gore on our schedule. And, you know, ultimately the games that we want to play and the games we really want to circle is that first round of the playoffs. Yeah. That's where we want to be. That's where we want to be come week 11. First round of the playoffs, we don't want to be sitting at the house. We want to be playing. Awesome. Going back to, you mentioned about kind of an experienced team. I know, Coach, you joked about, you know the age of a team when you, by the amount of vehicles in the parking lot. And our parking lot's pretty full right now, and I think that's a sign of, of experience. So hopefully our experience will pay off for us as the season gets rolling. Yeah, when I, when I first started here, everybody, uh, either drove the bus or their parents picked them up. And now that's not the case. Uh, like you said, our parking lot's, our parking lot's full of cars. And uh, you know, we have a lot of older kids. We were, for a long time, we were freshmen and sophomore heavy. And now uh, we, uh, we got some older kids and a good mix of younger kids. Uh, really proud of our kids who played a JV game Monday night. Absolutely. And uh, got a lot of good reps right there. We want, that's what we want to do in Panama. We want to get to a point where we don't rebuild, we just reload. And we want, you know, next man up, kind of getting ready to play that thing. So we want oh. to build a culture here. Awesome, Coach. Well, I thank you for your time. And I would like to personally thank you guys for tuning in to our first Razorback Rundown Coaches Show. But don't forget, tomorrow, Thursday, August 31st, at Spyro, it is a 7 o'clock kickoff. Come and support the Panama Razorback for a big LaFour County showdown as, we, as the Razorbacks take on the Bulldogs. Don't forget, go Razorbacks.
Welcome back to the Razorback Rundown Coaches Show. We just visited with Coach Ford a little bit about his outlook of the 2023 campaign as the Panama Razorbacks kick off tomorrow at Spyro at 7 o'clock for a Lafour County Classic Showdown. Here with me today, I got three seniors. I got Darius Bluford, Nelson Liddy, and Braxton Pernacki here to visit with me a little bit on their outlook and their predictions of the season. So I want to start with Darius. Darius plays offensive tackle and some defense for the Panama Razorbacks. Darius, can you give me a little bit of, um, of what we can expect to see Friday nights from our offensive line? We're big and vicious up front, so as long as we got that going for us, we can be really good. Awesome. I know there's some experience, too. I know um, just with my first year being here, you guys have kind of been a unit for the past three or four years, so I know experience may play a little bit of, uh, of a little bit, uh, give us a little bit of an advantage as we open up. So um, some good players up front. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your experience playing here at Panama um, up front as you um, as you start start the campaign? Yeah. My experience. Uh, I know we're gonna be really good. Like. Okay. We're all family. We've been playing for each other for a while now, and we got that kind of we got that going for us. So, right. I, feel I know like we'll be good. we used to call it the mojo. So you got the mojo mm -hmm. going with our experience. So that's yeah. good, Darius. Thank you very much. Next, we got uh, Nelson Liddy here. I know Liddy's been playing the secondary for us and kind of leading up the uh, secondary on defense here. Um, Nelly, can you give us a little insight on secondary, a little bit of what you guys have been working on, how um, how um, how you're going to be prepared for Friday night, or sorry, Thursday night, um, to shut down the air raid that the uh, Spiral Bulldogs are going to throw at us? Yeah, we've been working on pass coverages for a while. We've been making sure that we know all what we need to do, all our switches, everything. Awesome, awesome. I know. Um, I know Coach Ford has been um, hounding you to get in and catch the ball some sometimes too on offense. Um, are you excited about playing a little bit of offense as well? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get used to it because I haven't been playing offense very much lately. So. Well, well, good. I know um, I'm excited to see what you can do on both sides of the football and, and bring an impact to our team uh, offensively and defensively. And finally, we got quarterback Braxton Bernacki. I know Braxton's been. Um, running the reins of the uh, Panama football team for the past couple of years. And um, this year, he, no different. Um, I know he's he's been, um, he, I, me personally, I know he's gotten better uh, since I since the spring, since I've been here. And I know he continues to get better. And I know his, his um, MO is to get better. Uh, Braxton, can you, um, as the leader and as the uh, quarterback and, and play caller for the Razorbacks, can you kind of give us a little bit of a rundown, kind of a what to expect um, as we as we get ready for uh, for season opener, absolutely. I mean, first off, it's just been an honor to play with my guys. You know, we've been a family since sophomore year. Ever since Coach Ford came along and picked us up, kind of just straightened everything out. It's just been an uphill climb since then. I think finally things are starting to come together. You know, we're gonna hit people in the mouth, ground and pound, usually like we have in the previous years. But we've all, we've also got a nice air raid. I mean, we've got alf athletes on the outside. We've got a lot of speed, a lot of physicality. We've got Brody Clark, he's huge. We've got Gavin McKinney, he's also a big man. You know, we got Tyler Simpkins and Jacob Gregory, they're fast. We've got Talon Fairless and Mason Cameron on the edge out there at X. You know, it's just going to be an issue. You can't, if you stop us one way, good luck trying to stop us the other. So, you know, it's just really is my honor to lead these guys, and that they follow me. And, you know, if I ask something of them, ask them to come up and put in some extra work, they're always there and they're happy to help. So, you know, I think we got big things to look forward to got some great things coming up this season awesome so as we close I just kind of want you guys to fill us in a little bit of, of to our fans that are watching what can we expect um, expect from the Panama Razorbacks this season um, a, a, as we begin our campaign and we'll start with Darius Darius what what can uh, fans expect from us as we come out and uh, get ready for battle on Friday nights I feel like if we learn teamwork and discipline we'll make it very far it looks and they can see us go very far. Good. Really. Good. I like it. Nelly, what can we expect of Friday nights? I think that they can expect us to be playing hard every down, four quarters, the whole game. 
Good. And last but not least, Braxton, what can you tell us uh, as uh, fans get excited for to come out and uh, watch us play on Fridays? You know, we're, we're just not your typical Panama Razorback team. I mean, in the past, we've had, we've had some good teams. They've just been one-dimensional. I think defensively, we're very sound. We're solid in the box and our secondary as well, too. I mean, we really just play good on both sides of the ball everywhere. So we're really going to be a problem for everyone. And it's just going to be a different team, unlike anything anybody's seen before from the Panama Razorbacks. Awesome. Well, I know this. I know you guys are excited for um, opening opening night tomorrow against the Spiral Bulldogs. And um, I'm excited to get to coach you guys and get to be uh, on the sideline with you on the sideline with you guys as we go as we go into battle. So um, come out, support these guys, support these seniors, support this football team. As we open up tomorrow, 7 o'clock at Spyro, come support your Panama Razorbacks. And as always, go Razorbacks.